The regime revenge politics had severely hampered the state's prospects for prosperity and growth. Even the Honorable High Court of Andhra Pradesh had sought to convene a judicial inquiry into whether there is a constitutional breakdown in the state. The biggest damage was done to the brand AP. No noteworthy companies came forward to invest in the state. The corrupt practices at all levels coupled with weaponization of instruments of governance across revenue earning departments for personal gains, sabotaging of checks and balances made several state institutions and private companies defunct and forced the existing enthusiastic investors and entrepreneurs to move out of Andhra Pradesh to other states. The uncertain environment which rocked the confidence of the people in general and investors in particular started showing impact on the state finances, leaving them in a mess. Fiscal prudence was abandoned. Expenditure was beyond means in spite of limited revenue growth and debt and liabilities rolled sharply. Financial management is manifested by diversion of funds, higher taxation despite high inflation, increase in power sector liabilities, neglect of capital expenditure which eventually resulted in slowing down of the economy. The enormous gap in resources was sought to be met repeatedly by borrowings through corporations and forcing them to spend on government expenditure and in the process weakening the corporations. <coughs> In view of the inordinate delay in clearance of the bills due to strained financial position of the state, <coughs> many vendors and contractors have approached High Court of Andhra Pradesh for relief and filed cases against the government. About 25,000 cases have been filed for bill payments, which is unprecedented. The sheer number of contempt cases with personal appearances and arrest warrants against officials in several cases resulted in systematic humiliation and victimization of bureaucracy. This led to complete demoralization of administrative machinery. The capital expenditure reduced by 60% in 2019-24 compared to 2014-19. Departments such as water resources and transport, roads and buildings, which undertake substantial capital works were left critically short of funds to carry out any works. The capital expenditure on water resources was, has reduced by 56% and that on roads and buildings by an alarming 85% during this period. The compound annual growth rate of state's own tax revenue slipped from 12.8% to 8.1% during this period. On the other hand, the revenue expenditure increased from 7.8% to 10.5%, whereas the capital expenditure growth declined steeply from 26.4% to 3.4%. Lower share of capital expenditure to public debt occurred during the period 2019 to 24 is a clear indicator that the government met revenue expenditure also through borrowed funds. The CAGR in per capita debt has been higher at 14%, while the CAGR in per capita income is only 9.7%. This reflects the fiscal profligacy of the previous regime as no capital formation took place. The Amaravati capital region envisioned as the focal point of growth for the nascent state of Andhra Pradesh was totally destroyed. With an attempt to scrap the Amravati dream, the government confused the people with its malicious three capital cities idea under the guise of decentralized governance. During the period 2019-24, no irrigation project, no industries, no infrastructure relating to roads, buildings, hospitals, drinking water was taken up. Cancellation of MOUs in energy sector and other infrastructure projects further demonstrated the negative attitude of the government. Such disastrous decisions, unmindful of consequences, have led to 
unrest among the youth and job aspirants. Prevalence of uncertain environment has eventually led the youth towards addiction of illegal substances causing a drug menace. The mental unhealth, unrest and agony were not limited to the geographical boundaries of the state. The Telugu speaking, uh, speaking people all around the world were upset and demoralized by the uninspiring deeds of the government. They anxiously and desperately waited for a change in governance that would take them forward in the 21st century. The progressive public policies of the AP government during 1996 to 2004 have today led to empowerment of Telugu people globally, enabling them to be amongst the highest earning Indian diaspora. The condemnation of demolition approach of the previous government by the people of the state, NRIs and other supporters, culminated in a change in government. A huge and historic mandate has been given to the NDA, hitting an unprecedented 93% strike rate, thus reaffirming faith in democracy. <coughs> I sincerely congratulate the people of Andhra Pradesh for their wisdom in electing a government that discharges its duties with a futuristic view. Hordes of Andhra people had come from various regions to be part of this historic mandate in favor of future of Andhra Pradesh. The new government has a perfect blend of fresh and experienced honorable members in the assembly. I once again welcome all the members who will be instrumental in making right policies in the interest of good governance and in the spirit of cooperative federalism. <laughs>